So what's up YouTube? It's me, your girl at K Kenora, and I'm back with another video. So I'm just sitting here having me a drink. And obviously, if you haven't seen my video um titled Bruh, I'm not even loud. Go watch that video because I've been in the bed all day. Like all day. I watched Coming to America and I'm excited about that. And after that went off, talk to some of my friends or whatever, talk to my cousin, you know, and it's always good to talk to family. So I'm just finding the silver lining and just counting my blessings and all of this because before I wasn't talking to any of my family. But this situation has made me, yeah, let me put my hair like this because I feel like I'm cute or whatever. So, but this situation has made me kind of like, you know, communicate with my family or whatever. So, you know, I'm just, and plus I talked to my cousin and she's going through a really hard time right now and she's trying to smile through it. And that kind of like made me like, feel really, really sad. And you know, and think that, and I know I should not think like this, but I couldn't help but think that damn her situation is way worse than mine because like I said at least I'm not burying my son you know so um yeah after um I did everything I pretty much just lounge all day I got up and poured me a little drink and I'm drinking some gin and um yeah I um ordered me a pizza because I can't cook and I was telling my dad I was like I'm grieving like if you believe it or not I never knew that you can grieve from moving from another state so that was happening when I didn't even know that it was happening and now my son is gone and I've been cooking for my son for like seven years so it I don't know. I can't wrap my head around why I don't want to cook, but I just don't want to cook. So I ended up um, ordering me a pizza and um, I ended up, my uncle actually ended up sending me some money to order me some pizza. So that really made me just, you know, self reflect, you know, and I found out some things about myself that you know you really don't know that you're doing and i found out today that i suffer from abandonment <laughs> plain and simple i suffer i really do suffer from abandonment and that was so honest that was so transparent like I do, right, and I really didn't want to say that, but I just had to blurt it out, but I recognize that about myself, you know, and it's okay because now that I realize the issue or whatever, I can like work on it. So it's always a blessing, but I can't lie. I'm at, I'm literally questioning myself because when you when you be gaslighted and stuff like that, it really make you doubt your reality. It really make you you know not know who's for you, especially when you see that that person is gaslighting you too. So that's like the crazy part so don't quote me on this or anything because I'm still in the process of figuring everything out and filling everything out but y'all know that I'm a self-aware person and that's what I realize about myself and of course I should because you know I've been abandoned by my uh, mother so um yeah so when I was in the shower, I was thinking like, damn, is everybody miserable? Am I miserable? Like, am I miserable? 
you know, and I don't know it. Like, am I miserable? Because if I'm miserable, I swear I don't mean to. Like, honest to God, like, if I'm miserable, <laughs> she's starting to beat. <laughs> I swear, like, if I'm miserable, I don't mean to. I'm not intentionally trying to make someone else else's life miserable. But that's what I have. That's what I was thinking about. I'm like, damn, I'm the one who child is in foster care, and I'm happier than everybody else. Like, I'm positive. I'm I'm lovely. I'm I'm. I'm just transparent and honest and it's like every time I turn around it there is a miserable person so What these people want me to do now is blame myself is feel guilty. I'm not gonna feel guilty for your shit Okay, it's not my shit Okay My thing is Miserable people love to try to control you and they will do anything to control you Okay and I'm not gonna let that happen at all. So, um, you know, sometimes like when things happen, normal people, the first thing you're gonna do is ask yourself, <laughs> like, okay, go over the scenario and see what happened and see it from a third person to see where you could have, you know, did something different. That's normal shit. But I'm not dealing with normal people. So I'm like, how is it that I could be going through all this stuff and I still come out happy, encouraging, um, honest, understanding, you know, just try to, we got to live together. Like, why the fuck is you beating and we got to live, we got to live, like, we got to live right here by each other. So, wouldn't it be smart for you to try to get along? Even if even if you don't like me, you don't have to like me. Period. Like, this is what these people don't understand. You got to see me every day, whether you don't want to or not, baby. You got to see me every day, because I live here. So, whatever the problem is, don't you think that you should be smart enough or reasonable enough to try to get along with this person since I am a person that lives above you. You know, you can't complain on everything. I told y'all, first it was the music. Now it's me stumping. What else is it going to be? What is it going to be next? So just like I said, it's not me. Well, well, it's not the music. It's not the stumping. It's just that it's me. Now, whatever they got a problem with, that's their business. That's a personal problem. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing to do with that. You feel me? And so just like I have to deal with my own shit, you got to deal with your own shit. Like, I'm not going to let you put your shit off on me. Especially when I'm in my house, minding my business. I've been playing the same song all day. All day I've been playing this same song, bruh. Because I'm going to make me a music video. So I've been playing this same song all day. When they told me the music was too loud, I turned my music down at nighttime when it's time for everybody to go to sleep. You see what I'm saying? Like, you get to a point where you just tired of always being the one to compromise when nobody's trying to compromise with you. Like, you just moved here. Like, what can your problem be with me and you just moved here? And why now, all of a something, you got a problem? That's my thing. All right. All right, well, thank you. Thanks anyway. Bruh. You owe me Harry Baker's file. <laughs> for what? There's nothing here. I asked for transcripts. On a but anyways. You're lucky I got his pre-sentencing report. I came on here, y'all, because I'm cute. Like, I, this is literally like my first time wearing my hair down. And I'm feeling it. It's a lot of hair, though. You feel me? Lord knows. <laughs> Lord knows. 
I have a lot of hair on my head. So, like, next time when I do my hair, hopefully my hair will be grown back. It's growing, like, a lot. It is really growing. Like, literally, I, I have hair here now. So, my hair is really growing. Give it some time. And once it grow, 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 then I will be able to make my parts a lot bigger. But right now, I'm not trying to make my parts um, bigger. Because I'm trying to hide my little, you know, my little vibes, by the way. She cute or whatever. Yeah, y'all, but I just came on here because... I she felt cute. Y'all see my stomach getting smaller? I'm getting smaller. And it's gone. Could be a coincidence. He turned up on his stoop the next morning. Dead. So. Decapitated. Yeah, I just don't understand, but. You know what? Where was your son Thursday night? I'm glad I don't you understand because. In his bedroom reading like always. Were you here all night? The smartest or? thing. I had a. Uh, for me to do is to just stay close to God and pay that no mind like at all you know and this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say that everybody like I get shit from everybody but and I'm always trying to be the bigger person you know and it just don't worry about it because of course yeah they're just jealous so understood. In science class, he gets an A plus because he is so good at dissecting frogs. He's just really yeah, curious so about the biology stuff. Right. I'm just so happy. You You're like, to take a little peek in his room. I'm happy and I'm proud of myself because this is not something easy for a mother to have to go through. And I think that I'm being cooperative. I think I'm being um understanding and the most important thing is that I'm not getting no hatred in my heart for nobody you know I had my little moments when I felt wronged you know I felt like there was injustice uh, brought against me but now I'm really over that and I'm just allowing myself to feel my emotions and to focus on getting my son home because at the end of the day it's not about me you know it's about my baby and I'm just allowing myself the freedom to feel whatever it is I feel you know oops I'm just allowing myself to feel whatever it is I feel and I'm so proud of myself for that. I'm so proud of myself for, you know, the person that I am as far as talking to people, you know, because, and it takes practice, especially when you feel like you've been done wrong. It takes real practice to relax and to think you know because your first thought would want to be to um react i, I mean it takes a lot of practice to respond you know and i'm proud of myself you know and just by dealing with this myself it's just me here like you get no cool points for fucking with me knowing that it's just me and I'm a single mother. Like, you get no cool points. Like, you should be really proud of yourself. Like, for real. You should be really proud of yourself. Because you get no cool points for the shit that you're doing. I'm just going to put that out there. You really don't. Like, and that's why I'm so proud of myself. Because I'm able to maintain who I am. And not stoop to that level, you know. And it's, it's, it's not easy to do, especially when it comes down to your child, you know, but I'm about to get off of here. I'm about to get on POF and I'm about to practice my music. 
I'm about to practice my music. And yeah, I should have a music video coming for y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all when because I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. But I will be having the, um... Dang, I just told y'all my secret. Like, fuck. I did not mean to tell y'all my secret. Mm. I hate y'all right now. Because y'all literally just got that out of me. I literally hate y'all right now. But anyways, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. So... I'm not going to tell y'all what day. So, yeah. So, anyways, um, I know I basically rambled in this video, but I still want to thank y'all for watching this video. I want to thank y'all for fucking with me, like, for real. Like, the ones out there who fuck with me, for real. Like, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you for loving my son and just praying for my son that he have a, a safe he comes home safe i thank you for that i thank you for the foster care people who are taking care of my baby um and teaching him and treating him like he's his own i thank you for everybody who has a hand in this situation the judge my attorneys everybody who had my sister my dad everybody who has a hand in this situation and is really rooting for me to get noah back to bring noah home like i love y'all so much and don't stop Praying. Don't stop sending them ancestors. Like, I really appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Because I can't do this by myself. And like I said, yeah, I had my moment when I was like, okay, everybody is just, you know, gaslighting me. But that's the thing when you be gaslighted. That's, that, that is what happened. And you really wouldn't understand gaslighting if you've never read about it or been through it. But once I let that go, that, uh... Once I started seeing, well, once I let that paranoia go, like, um, not what the police officer said, not that paranoia, okay? Because that shit just made me paranoid for real when I wasn't paranoid to begin with. So once I let that paranoia go and I really saw, you know, who was trying to help me and who wasn't, I really was like, okay let me just calm down you know and i had to have that talk with my son i talked to my son and i told my son that it's not his fault but literally i was blaming myself as well so sometimes as parents you have talks with your children that you're really talking to yourself as you talk to your child because i had to turn around and tell myself the same thing this is not your fault i did nothing to deserve this and i'm not gonna let nobody make me feel like there's something wrong with me because it's, i know i know who i am i know i'm a good person i know i'm a loving person i know i'm an honest person and nobody's gonna make me feel guilty for being honest you know it's not my fault that you took what i told you me trying to be transparent and you ran with it that's not my fault okay so um i just thank everybody who is out helping me and you know just being a positive light to me and encouraging me and sending me money like i really do appreciate y'all because i am grieving right now honest to god truth like i am grieving right now if you if the narcissist want to make you seem unstable this is the time where they will make you feel unstable like <laughs> it's crazy because you just took my baby how in the fuck you supposed to think that look down on me when my baby just got took like that that makes no sense at all but um I just thank everybody. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Like, and go subscribe to my um, my Instagram, my YouTube, my Cash App. I made sure I put that down there as well. And I just want to thank y'all for. I don't know how to turn the comments off, but I wish I really wish I can get comments. You guys can go comment on my old videos. I've been seeing um a lot of comments on my old videos but i already know it's from the narcissist so anything negative that's on my thing i already know who it's from you know 
But um, if you guys want to send me any positivity, any love, you can go put that on my old um, comments because I do get them. I do read them. So you can go send them there. And, like, thank you so much. And if you are new to my channel, then subscribe. If you already a subscriber, then you already know what to do. Y'all, I'm about to be snatched right <laughs> Baby, look at that. Stop playing with me. Don't let me come around here and lose weight on y'all. Period. But, um, yeah, um, you already know what to do. Period. And stay tuned for more videos. And if, oh, peace until next time. And if my baby was here, y'all already know he was safe. And goodbye. So.